Tuesday is June 5th, um, uh, 2023, the 50th World Environment Day. And uh, the topic of this World Environment Day is beat plastic pollution. So correspondingly, I'm going to talk something about the treatment of plastic pollution uh, today. Um, the topic of my presentation is scientific redemption for ocean plastic pollution. I'm Thomason from the Institute of Oceanology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. So, ocean is always uh, synonymous. So I'm going to move it a little bit to find something. I think it's a good, it's good. Okay, so um, the ocean is always a synonymous of beautiful scenery when we mention the ocean. So most of us, we think of the words like uh, blue sky, white uh, clouds, coconut trees, waves, and uh, animals. And uh, um, the sea is the hubs. Is the, the, uh, we, we know that the sea is the home for human survival. And uh, let's move. I think it, it, it hides the, the title, right? Uh, I think it's good. Yeah. It's good? Okay. Good. Yeah. So um, I think the, the sea is a home for human survival. And uh, uh, it supplies huge cold oil space. And also the ocean, um, like the parents, bring us the job and the hope. And uh, however, in the present time, the ocean is heavily polluted by the plastic waste. You can see a huge amount of plastic waste in the water and the shore of many oceans. Indeed, plastic is in the present time in the ocean is very shortened. And uh, actually plastic pollution is a serious threat to a lot of marine animals, especially for turtles, because they often mistake plastic for the jellyfish. You know, the jellyfish is the favorite food for them. If the turtle swallows the plastic waste, they most likely will die. Similarly, other marine animals, including seahorse and whale, are often seriously harmed by the plastic. What's more, plastic pollution exists in the uninhabited polar oceans. Scientists from the 30th Antarctic expedition have for the first time detected the presence of microplastic you can see that the blue fibers in the center of the filter in Antarctic waters. The presence of microplastics in these less traveled polar oceans reflects their widespread distribution. So what is microplastic? Normally, the microplastic is a tiny plastic. They are diameter less than five millimeters. And also microplastics are divided into two categories primary microplastics and the secondary microplastics. The primary microplastics refer to industrial products of plastic particles discharged into the water environment through rivers, savage treatment plants, etc. And also the microplastic pose a great threat to the marine animals. You can see clearly that the fluorescent labeled microplastic could easily enter the inside of the marine animals. Moreover, microplastic can be absorbed into the food chain by animals and the plants. Recently, a number of media outlets, including the US and the UK, reported that microplastics were found in the human fecal samples for the first time. It caused um, a lot of concerns. You can see that maybe they come from the food contaminated by the microplastics. And also, um, micro uh, it is reported that global plastic pollution is growing rapidly with nearly 368 million tons produced worldwide in 2019. And also the microplastics pass through the food chain and seriously harm the, um, harm the health. And also the plastic pollution has become an urgent global environmental problem. Therefore, plastic waste treatment is urgent. In the present times, the landfill and also the incineration are the very usual no, uh, ways to um, cause theory uh, to, to treat the plastic pollution. However, these two methods 
they will cause serious second pollution and also consume a lot of energy and cause air pollution. So we need some mild and environmentally friendly methods. The microbes and the enzyme are very promising. In the present time, more than 10 million tons of plastic enter the world's oceans each year, and the deep flow sediments could be long-term reservoirs for microplastics. So it is an important direction to obtain efficient depolymerization microbes from the oceans. With that, we collected thousands of plastic polluted samples from variety shores and put them in the plastic um, tubes. And interestingly, one of the samples could form a distinct bacterial mat along the inside of the photo, and we um, call it the costume CS6. We therefore took it out and counted it in the crystalline pollen medium. Indeed, we obtained some colonies. And also, next we uh, incubated this bacterial community with the pad and the P film, and this film contained additive. You can see clearly that this bacterial uh, community could well colonize on the surface of both the films. Next, we removed the bacterial community from the cell surface and checked the film and the uh, scanning electron microscopy. We can see our various degradation effect in the surface of PT and the P film, especially for the um, P film, there are a lot of degradation holes inside of the, the, the surface. And then next, we replaced the additive containing film with the additive free film. Similarly, the bacterial community could degrade both film while um, the degradation effect is more obvious. You can see the, the holes inside. So next, we try to find which microbes were indeed effective on the plastic degradation within the bacterial community. So to find the which microbes were effective, so we performed the OTO analysis. And then the results showed that five kinds of bacterial um, possess high abundance. We therefore captured all the top five bacteria and found three core bacteria derived from this community had a strong degradation on both PT and the P film. We also performed transcriptomic, uh, and also the, um, we reconstituted the bacteria uh, bacterial community because we captured the three uh, core bacteria and uh, we reconstituted this bacterial community with a ratio at a one to one to one ratio and checked their degradation effect on the PT and the P film. The SEM and also the eye uh, observation, you can see clear this bacterial community could degrade the PT and the P film um, very obviously. We also performed the transcriptomic analysis and proposed the degradation process by the bacterial community. In this model, we propose that the bacterial community would attach and colonize the surface of the plastics. Then the bacteria will secrete different enzymes to degrade the plastics and obtain some extra energy by using some small molecular with degradation products. Meanwhile, the plastics were degraded. In addition to the bacterial community, we also obtained uh, a marine fungus, which could well colonize on the surface of the pea film because the pea film is very hard to degrade by the microbes. So, and also you can see they produce a lot of holes inside the pea film. And uh, this fungus could also uh, colonize on the surface of the pea film within two days and degrade the film to a greater extent in four months. Sometimes the fungus could even degrade some small pieces from the film. However, the degradation period is still too very long, about four months, you can see. So with that, we modify the culture medium of this fungus. Excitingly, we could observe even more degradation effect on the pea film within three weeks compared with that to the old medium for mom, uh, four months. You can see a lot of holes inside the pea film. And also, um, uh, after organization, the marine fungus could degrade the PP and also the uh, polyester PR because it's too, um, uh, as well as the PVC plastic. Um, and we know that the PP, the polyester PR, as well as PVC are very hard to degrade by microbes and the enzymes in the present time. So it is worthwhile to mention that you can see that this marine fungus can penetrate the 
um, the uh, uh, polyester PUR within 24 hours. You can see the, the high fee can come out within uh, 24 hours and also within 15 days, um, the marine fungus can degrade the, uh, the PUR to different pieces and also turn the color from the white to yellow. So we summarized the degradation process within four weeks. You can see clearly that in one month, the marine fungus could degrade the most, the whole polyester PUR within four weeks, indicating that this fungus is a very good candidate for degradation of polyester PUR. And also, in addition, this marine fungus also showed a very good capability of degrading PBAT plastic within four weeks. You know, the PBAT plastic is a uh, bio, um, biological uh, degradable plastic. However, in the natural uh, environment, it costs a couple of years to degrade. So next, we try to find the clear enzymes which direct the degradation process of these plastics. Normally, these enzymes are proteins that secrete to the outside of the cells. In the present time, we obtain two enzymes, E4 and E10. So they can degrade the PDAT film to different small pieces within four or three days, especially for the E10. You can see it degraded the PBT film to very small pieces. So you can see the white substance, actually they are the mineral. And also we use the HPLC and the MassTech to check that these two enzymes um, could degrade the PBAT film to the monomer, the um, terasetic acid. Especially for the E10, this enzyme could transform almost 100% of the PBAT to the monomer. So it is known that the, um, uh, the terasetic acid is an important component of a PET plastic. In the future, we could recycle this monomer and make PBAT or PET plastics. On the other hand, the marine fungus could also produce a lot of uh, um, natural products, which could effectively inhibit various pathogens. That means after we treat the plastic, we can use the cultures to make some antibiotics and also build the cycling economy of plastic pollution. Certainly, if we want to realize the industrial application of plastic degradation, we need to cooperate with scientists with different majors. For example, the chemistry, the biochemistry, the biology, and also to cooperate the government and the company from different countries. Only by that, we can beat the plastic pollution. So um, that's my own content. So I'm Thomason from the Institute of Oceanology, Chinese Academy of Sciences. So if you have, if you are interested in any side of plastic degradation, you can contact me. Thank you for, for your attention. So that's all. Thank you.